Welcome to the Carnival Vista Ask View Balcony. I'm about to enter my balcony room, room 8474 on the Carnival Vista. First thing I have to do is slide my room key in the slot. Pull it out quickly. Oops, not quickly enough. The red light came on. Let's try it again. Pull it out quickly. Green light, go. Enter my door and yay, this is the Carnival Vista FB balcony room. First thing you have to do is to put your key card in the slot. If you leave it in the slot, your lights will come on. If you do not, you can't turn your lights on. I learned a new trick on this cruise though. You can use any kind of card that has a metal strip. So I used my McDonald's gift card and put it in the slot instead. Now come on in and see what's in my room. We're getting ready to go home. It's at the end of my cruise, so you'll see our suitcases on the bed. But even with the suitcases on the bed, the cabin steward made us a nice little towel creation. Two, a heart made with two towels. Isn't that just sweet as can be? He turns down our bed every evening. You'll notice the best feature about an half view balcony is, of course, the aft view. Yes, that is why you get an aft view balcony. And it's an extended balcony. So your balcony is much larger than a usual balcony on the ship. Most ships have barely enough room for your legs on the sides of the ship, but an aft view extended balcony has more. It has a little partition between each balcony, so you do have some semblance of privacy from your neighbors on either side. However, I can look down on my neighbors below me. If they were there, I could spy on them and you know, on anyone else. And of course, if they wanted to, the people that lived above me would be looking down on me at this very moment, spying on me as well. Now, if you look at this balcony, you'll notice that the rooms above have a cover over them. I think that could be wonderful because our balcony has no shade during the day. We might get shade in the early morning, or if you're sailing away from the sunset, you might get shade in the evening. You'll notice also that we have the view of the Havana area, where they have a big pool, big hot tub, lounge chairs. That's only accessible to those people that book a Havana stateroom until about 5 p.m. After 5, then, you have no way of getting in the hot tub because it's usually filled with teenagers playing the game of how many teenagers can we get in there at one time. Now, if you want to see the rest of my balcony room, we'll go back inside and give you a quick little tour as well. You'll see you have a little nightstand. It has a door on it. We can put a few things in there. Another nightstand. If you don't wish to have your bed made up as one large bed, they do put it into two single beds. You are given three bottles of water. I say given lightly. They have a little tag on them letting you know that if you want that water, they're going to charge you $3.75. Um, but they do have a nice bucket and two glasses. Pretty nice size desk area. There is a drawer inside the drawer, hair dryer, and a little room for your gadgets. Notice in our aft view balcony, there's one plug for those people that use a 230 volt. There's two American type plugs for a 120 volt, and there's two USB port. We really appreciate having the USB port. The bad thing about the American outlets is if you don't have your key card or some other card in the door, you will have your lights turned off when you leave the room and things won't charge. You'll notice also that it has a nice sofa in the aft view balcony as well. There is a refrigerator which is handy. We bought bottled water and we were able to put that in our refrigerator to keep it cool. The closets have two shelves, a nice safe, another shelf, and three drawers. There are three closet doors. The other two doors, one of them has two bars for hanging clothes and the other one has one bar for hanging clothes so your long items will be able to hang in there as well. In this particular cabin, the shower looks like they always do. You have your shower gel and shampoo already pre 
bottles there on the wall and they fill those all the time. The shower handle that comes out, not a very big shower basin. If I pull back, you can tell just how small it is in comparison to the tub, to the toilet, about as deep. Toilet, you always close the lid and you push the little button to flush. They have several towels on there, a nice little mirror that you can use for seeing the back of your hair. Three little shelves on this side, three little shelves on this side. Small sink, a couple more shelves. Now, you do have a table. They put the beach towels that they let you use underneath the table. So that's a handy dandy thing too. The other thing I love about an aft view balcony cabin is no state room directly across the hall. That's what I'm talking about. So you don't have a lot of noise across the hall when people come and get ready for bed themselves. Not a lot of talking out in the hallway. So it's a lot peaceful and quiet. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour. I do want to show you a couple of other things if you're new to cruising. They'll almost always have the remote for the TV, a booklet of all their shore excursions, and the fun times, which has your list of all the activities that are scheduled for the day. Today's our last farewell day at sea. You can tell they always give the sunrise and sunset, what's going on on the ship, on the back, where you can go for different meals during the day, and what's open and when. A uh, very good thing to always keep in mind is to check out the fun times. Hope you get a chance to come on one of these cruises. Bye!